Hi and welcome to a quick review on the Browning Recon Force Edge trail cam. I'll just uh, drag the box close in case anybody wants to read the back of the box, but most people don't want to see boxes or unboxing videos, they're boring. They want to see the item itself. There is the little beauty. Usual camo front, um, quick description, lens, infrared LEDs for the flash or illuminating the videos, the motion detector. Um, in here there's two little LEDs, one's uh, a detector, the other one is a bright red LED for when you're testing the actual detection circuits. We'll come to that in a minute. Uh, on the bottom, usual mounting screw, standard size. On the back, uh, fantastically, absolutely brilliant metal plate with sharp sharpish jaggedy edge so you pass the strap through pull it against the tree tighten it up it's going absolutely nowhere very very well made quite heavy as well quite heavy right that's the outside inside single catch opens front facing lcd screen um in the bottom sd card a 12 volt DC adapter, should you wish to run it off 12 volts, well, should you wish to run it off ex external batteries, and a battery tray. Press the eject button, and that is the battery tray. There's uh, ordinary alkalines in there at the moment, however, it is recommended that you run it on lithiums. They're without doubt the best batteries to be running it on. So, let's just quickly run through what it does. Switch it on. There's me. Mode, first screen. Three choices. Camera setup, playback and home screen. So then, let's go to the camera setup. Press enter. We now have eight screens. Uh, setup, date and time, obvious. Operation mode, not quite so obvious. So you have trail cam, video, and time lapse plus. Uh, fairly obvious that the trail cam takes pictures, the video takes video, and the time lapse, well, that's fairly uh, obvious as well. So then, next one photo quality. Right, you've got four settings here 4 megapixel, 8 megapixel, 12 megapixel, 20 megapixel. I found that for the photo quality, 4 megapixel for myself seems to take the best quality pictures. Going on to the second screen, video length does what it says. So everything from 5 seconds to 2 minutes. That's daytime video length. Uh, nighttime video length is limited to 30 seconds. Video quality, only two choices here, high and ultra. Uh, both video qualities are in 1080p. Uh, the difference is the frame rate. The ultra is 60 frames per second, which is twice what it is in the high. Right, photo delay. So everything from one second all the way through to 60 minutes. So when you set it into photo mode, it takes a picture. That's the delay before it takes the next picture, assuming something's moving in front of it. Right. Multi-shot mode. Really, once again, self-explanatory. Do you want it to take a single picture every time it's uh, triggered, or do you want it to take multi-shots? It will take up to eight shots in a span of two seconds. Temperature units, centigrade or Fahrenheit, depending on which one you're happy with. Uh, camera name, uh, I've called mine Hog Cam. As you can guess at the moment, it's watching hedgehogs. Uh, simple as that. Right, image data strip, that is, do you want the information across the bottom of the photographs? So that would be... Uh, day, date, time, uh, temperature and moon phase. Motion test. Remember the little red LED up here? Well, when you've got the thing set up and you press the motion test button, uh, you can basically move your hand in the target area and if the little red light flashes, that's because the detection circuit has just detected something moving. Quite handy to check the parameters of how far your motion detection goes. Motion detection, normal range and long range. Uh, for the gardens, normal range is fine. Long range really is quite long. It's going over 80 feet. Right, battery type. Uh, two types, so you can set it as lithiums or alkalines. 
Mine's got alpines in the moment. We'll have lithiums fairly soon. Uh, trigger speed, normal and fast. Uh, 0.2 seconds in the fast and half a second in the normal. Default settings obviously does what it says, sticks it back to how it came when, you, when it arrived. Uh, time lapse frequency. So should you choose to do time lapse photographs, it's obviously the interval between photographs being taken. So ranging from five seconds to 60 minutes in intervals. I should just show you, there you go. Quite a range. Right, time lapse period. How long do you want the time lapse to carry on taking? So one hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, or all, all day. Uh, delete all. That's SD card, so removes everything that's on the card and it also formats the card. Infrared flash power. Uh, economy, long range and blur reduction. So the economy obviously does what it says. It's a lower power setting, so if you're doing close-up stuff, economy is fine. Long range, if you wanted to take pictures up to that 80 feet limit, then that's the one that you want. Blur reduction is a uh, faster flash and it also alters the shutter speed of the picture trying to freeze anything that's fast moving in front of the camera. Right, smart infrared video. Uh, this is to do with if there's something being detected, if you've set your video for 10 seconds and there is still something moving in the frame, it will carry on recording. Uh, it's still the 30 second limit on nighttime video. Uh, SD management, self-explanatory. Language, you just choose the language you want. Uh, capture timer. Now, this is new for the 2020 model. Uh, this is the important one. Choose capture timer. You can tell the camera when it's to become operational. So you can set it up any time of the day. And as you can see, this one's set to come up at half past nine in the evening and finish at five o'clock in the morning or 4.59. That's to stop it taking lots and lots of pictures of birds feeding on the food that's been left out for the hedgehogs and only to take pictures of the hedgehogs really quite handy. So uh, firmware upgrade, there are new no new firmwares for this at the moment. So back to the original menu, camera, playback and home screen. So playback, if there was anything on the card, pressing that you could then skip through backwards and forwards just to see what's been taken. It's only a small screen, but it gives you a good idea of what you've caught. Right, lastly, the home screen button. When you go to home screen, and press it, it will give you some information on this LCD panel. Let me see if I can get this nice and close for you. Right, there we go. So it's got the picture. Top left tells you what setting it is. And so its mode is trail cam, and its resolution is four megapixel. It's taken one shot. Um, the delay, top right, 30 second countdown. So you check everything's right, close it up. It doesn't become active until that 30 second countdown's finished. Battery condition, bottom left, 75%. Bottom right, how many more pictures you can take on the memory card. So I can take 25,602 more pictures. It's now set up. You would close it up and away you go. So all you want to know now is, is basically what type of uh, video does it take at night? Because that's what people buy these for. So straight away, I'll give you a quick sample of some nighttime video set in ultra mode, 60 frames per second. Thank you for watching.